This is the second time that I've actually worked with these clients. I had done a small renovation project for them previously. My clients lived in the west part of Toronto and a couple of years ago decided to make the move into the dreaded burbs. No, I'm just kidding. I don't want to get in trouble. The decision to move was really born out of the fact that they just felt like they needed more space. The kids were getting bigger. They have two kids aged 7 and 10. Their house in the city was lacking independent home offices as well as exterior space. So they had looked for a while and eventually settled on buying this home. The house, I think, was probably built maybe in the 60s or 70s. What's interesting about this project is that we were able to completely change the look of the house and add a lot of character and warmth and really personalize it for our clients without moving any walls. We'll start with the foyer. So the foyer, what we did to jazz it up was, number one, we completely redid the stairs. We kept the existing spindles, but we did the risers, the treads, new banister, stained it all to match the new floors. We did all new gorgeous oak floors throughout, wide plank. I love the finish on these floors because they're a bit weathered. They're super good for family life and they hide a lot of like nicks and stains and spills. And then going up the stairs, we ended up doing a paneling treatment and painting out just that one wall on that block, just to sort of add a little bit of drama and depth to the space. The foyer or the entry is the first step, right? It's like the first thing that people see. So let's make it inviting. And you know, even if it's the FedEx person or the, I don't know, the food delivery person that's coming in, like let's give them something to look at, right? Right off the foyer, we have the family room. The previous owners obviously had it set up as a family room, so we kept the same function. It just sort of made sense. But we redid the furniture plan. We added a very large L-shaped custom sofa. It's extra deep and it's awesome. Our clients love this couch. The way it's positioned in this space, it opens up into the dining and kitchen as well. So it's perfect for flow and for entertaining in front of me. That wall previously was completely empty. Yeah, I know, pretty crazy, right? Um, how boring would that have been? We had this idea of splitting up the wall. It's a long wall. We knew we wanted a fireplace. That was one of the requirements actually from our client is that they wanted a gas fireplace in this room. And then they also needed a television, okay? I'm, sorry. I hate TVs, okay? But I know that we need to have them. We designed this ladded wall that the TV is mounted on top of. There's a ton of storage underneath. Everything is hardware free, so we wanted a really clean and streamlined look. And then obviously adjacent to that is the gas fireplace with this really beautiful porcelain slab. It's got a lot of movement and texture, but it's also very calming. The kitchen's huge. It's really big. It's kind of an oddly shaped kitchen. The cupboards were actually in decent shape, so we gave the kitchen a facelift. We had the cabinets all painted black. I know it's a little moody, but it went with the vibe of the home. We changed out the hardware, a new faucet, and then we had ripped out all the existing backsplash. It was a mosaic. It went all the way up the ceiling. We thought that it was just way too overwhelming in the space and we wanted to go with something a bit more modern. Went with this amazing tile and kept the counters. The counters were in great shape, they're quartz. Obviously it's a great way to save money if you know, you've know you got counters that are in decent condition and the color worked perfectly with our scheme. And then we also added those awesome floating shelves. I mean really they're just for like tchotchkes and display, but they just add something a little bit extra in the space and you know make it feel really complete. When we saw the dining room for the first time, it felt pretty cavernous. That wall was completely empty. To us, it called for a nice, beautiful built-in. That dining hutch, again, it's custom. It's black oak with reeded glass. It holds all of their extra dishes, decorative items as well. So much stuff. The table is pretty large. It, they're a family of four every day, but the table can seat six, and then it expands to seat 10. With the oak table, we paired these Windsor chairs as well as a bench. The next space, which is sort of, I call it the lady den, is that, that's not appropriate, right? <laughs> okay, I call it den office. 
Our one client needed a space to be able to work from home as well as just a place where if they're entertaining, just another space where the adults can retreat to perhaps pre-dinner or after dinner. It's just a lovely and comfortable room. The powder is a complete departure from anything else that is going on in this house. It's got bold and wild wallpaper, really bold tile on the floors, black and brass color scheme. Those colors do not exist anywhere else in this house. We did that on purpose. We wanted to go in a completely different direction in that powder room. The house is so calm and serene and monochromatic and you go into that powder room and you're like, wow, this is kind of what it is. It's like you're in a jungle. And why not? I mean, it's such a small space. May as well just make it cool and fun. The bedroom before was pretty boring. I mean, it was just a bunch of white walls. We added a really beautiful grass cloth wallpaper as a feature wall in that room, and it made that room feel so luxurious and cozy. We kept the client's existing bed, and it was in great shape. It's walnut, it has a ton of storage underneath, and we added, obviously, decorative elements as well as some new furniture, so night tables, lamps, and the window treatments in there are to die for. We layered them, so there's a sheer and then a blackout drape, and it just really diffuses the light in there and makes the room feel soft and comfortable. Anytime we design kids' rooms, we do really ask the kids for some input, obviously. Our client's daughter loved the color pink, so when we came to test a bunch of different color samples, she ended up choosing the color that she liked. We used an awesome floral, like really bold and graphic wallpaper as well for her. She loves unicorns and flowers and hearts and all those beautiful, lovely, cute things. And then we added some new furniture and decorative elements, including these really cute and beautiful drapes. Adding drapery into your bedroom, it really just makes it feel finished. In the boys' room, same thing. We tested a bunch of paint colors and he ended up choosing the one that he liked. They had a pre-existing bunk bed in there. Yeah, I know, boys love bunk beds. So we kept that bunk bed, obviously, and worked with it. Gave him a little space in the room with a beanbag chair for reading all his books and then a desk as well for him to be able to do homework, Lego, and crafts. There was a spare bedroom and our client loves yoga. One of the actual directives from her at the beginning was that she wanted a small little space in the house where she can do her yoga practice. So that was a perfect spot for us to be able to create a little sun den for her and she loves it. You know, and I always say this, like at the end of every project, it's sort of like, aw, tears. But for real, like tears because I love these clients, the kids are awesome. We had so much fun working on this project and they gave us carte blanche with our ideas and our choices. We managed to create a warm and comfortable home in the burbs, which is it's possible to be cool in the suburbs. But all kidding aside, it's really them. Like this is really just an expression of their personality.